Hello. Good morning. Good evening. Good late night. Wherever you are in this four dimensional universe, I'm glad to have met up with you. My name is Aiden. And you, my poor quantum temporal travelers, have fallen into the black hole that is the CD junkie. Oh, my goodness. I'm probably spent after that. I don't know. I feel like that used up most of my creative energy right there. So I hope that you appreciate it. I am, am down here in my work, uh, in my studio, trying to, trying to work, trying like hell to work today. And I am just, I'm not going to do it. I, I just am not going to work, apparently. So what I'm going to do instead is sit on the floor. And I'm going to tell you about a couple of bands that I've been excited about for a little while. I've wanted to talk about them for a little while, but I've wanted to, I've been trying to think of the right way to do it because I want to, I would like to use these two, these two uh, bands, these artists, um, in order to maybe make a larger point. Um, so first off, I want to tell you real quickly about a little band out of Los Angeles. You can't really read this, but I'll tell you, Muskrat Funk. Muskrat Funk does not have a lot of physical material out there, but you can stream them. Uh, you can find them on Instagram and they're a wonderful good time. If you are wanting something that has the this sort of cheeky fun of some of the golden age Chicago blues people like your Helen Wolves, but with a um, a more, uh, I wouldn't say modern anymore, but a, a more polished sound, Muskrat Funk is where you're at. It is, it is like uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan meets uh, all of his blues, blues heroes um, in a, uh, a parallel universe and they produce his albums. They're very fun. They are, um, they are what, what strikes me about Muskrat Funk and what will strike me about this other band that I want to talk to you about is that this music is clearly made with a lot of love and a lot of heart and it is done for the love of music and for the fun of producing and sharing their work. I think that's very important. And it is a feeling that you, you, you can't find in, in a more commercial, more popular, more widely available work. Very honest, very genuine, very good time. Muskrat Funk. Great people, by the way. Um, very great people, very welcoming. My next choice for you. Nine o'clock nasty. I am taking you from the west coast of America to, I believe, and please don't fault me on my lack of geographical knowledge, the west coast of England, to Brighton. Nine o'clock nasty is, I, I don't know, the UK, you, you motherfuckers just get it. You just get rock and roll. You, we might have invented it. We might have given it its name. You guys get it. You understand it so much better than we do here in America. Nine o'clock nasty is the punk garage rock that you want. It's exactly what it should be. It is. It is honest. It is skillful. It is irreverent. And it is, it is, it's there for a good time. It's there for a good time. And and both of these these groups of people, nine o'clock nasty, who this this dick <laughs> I said this dick. This disc. Jesus, I don't know. I love you all. Thank you for your patience. We put this thought train back on the rails. This disc. Uh catch nasty is um 
This is a full length album. I was so excited to get this about this off of Bandcamp. Great tracks on here, real quick, stand out. Um, let's talk about your boyfriend, Big Fish in a Pool of Piss. Come on now. Come on now. And um, I really love Unspool My Heart. I don't know. I don't know. My kids didn't enjoy that as much as I did, but I, I love Unspool My Heart. Anyway, both of these groups, Nine O'Clock Nasty, Muskrat Funk, these are skilled artists making honest work from their hearts, from their soul. And it's out there, it's available, but nobody, nobody with, with control, with power and influence, no one in the media is putting that work out there. And I've spent a lot of time on Instagram uh, for fun and with my own art, and I have seen incredible creations graphically, musically, literarily, and uh, these people have amazing talent, and they're telling amazing heartfelt stories that are important, that need shared, and it's, it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That work won't be put in the big galleries. It won't be on the big streaming services and on the radio. It won't be in the bookstores. And it's a shame. It's a heartbreaking shame. Because it is beautiful, beautiful work and it is art. And so with my last minutes here and I've gone much longer than I had planned I want to implore all of you who listen to me for whatever reason to take take your time on these services, explore them. And when you find someone's work that strikes you, that, that moves you, or that you just appreciate for the sheer skill of it, share it, talk about it, support them in any way you can use your platform as small as it may be to put their work out there. Sometimes the only support that you, you can give is emotional and I will tell you as an artist, that counts. Send them a message, tell them that you appreciate what they do, tell them that you, that you feel it, that you, you hear what they're putting out there in the world because I, I fear that if we just sit around and wait for what, what the society at large is going to scoop onto their spoon and jam into our mouths, then these stories will not be told. And then you, the consumer, the viewer, the listener, the reader, will be poorer for it. So I love you. Thank you for hanging with me through such a ramble. And I hope to see you again.